Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and today we're going to be implementing the doc string scenario. Right, to have implemented the one with map, uh, and we're going to do the doc string, and the next one we're going to be doing the specification by example scenario, and that's the one that we're going to keep doing for now, uh, uh, for the rest of the series, right? But today we're going to be talking about the doc string and, and the JSON one. If you, had, if you haven't watched the, the previous one, I'm going to be posting the videos for you so you can understand what we are trying to do. Uh, and it's important for you to keep it up. So subscribe, uh, hit the bell so you can receive no, the notification, right? So, but let's start. So I have here a, our, our code, right? Uh, this is what we have been doing so far. We did this scenario and just a quick recap. When uh, when we have the step definitions here with the scenarios that we that we created, uh, the step that we already created, uh, there are some cleaning up that we need to do, but we're going to be doing that in the next videos. For now, we're going to implement this one, and this is very interesting one. I I, I mentioned in, in my previous video, but I'm going to make sure I mention now today also is uh, we this is not the very not a specific uh, by example way of writing this because as you can see this is much cleaner this is uh, it's it's is already too much in, in my opinion and this is the ideal one right but then again this is important for you to know what we are trying to do right uh, for some reason I was, I was playing with this a little before I start uh, recording this video in IntelliJ is having a hard time um, with this syntax and I'm going to show you what I mean but okay this the we don't have this step yet and this is the same step as this one so uh, as long as the code is the same the, the, what you're expecting is the same and, and what the code is doing is the same which is uh, you can reuse the step uh, for as many scenarios as you want right so i'm going to create a new method so it's going to be alt enter and intellij is already crazy i think so let me remove this alt enter now it's going to create the step definition and i'm going to use uh the the files the file that we already have one thing that I, I, I think is important for me to tell you is that you're going to notice that there are two uh, regesp here. One is for Portuguese and the other one is for English, right? Doesn't really matter. Uh, Cucumber is going to understand those two, but in your project, you're going to choose either English or Portuguese. So probably in this case, it's going to be English. So I'm just doing this because I want to reuse this, the, the step definition. Right, so this is the same process that we did in the last, last video. We created the, the step definition, but as you can see, it did not recognize everything, only the number, only the V3. So I'm going to clean it up a little. I'm going to change integer for word. I'm going to be posting the videos of why it's word and what are, what are the other options here. And now it recognized, right? Great. This is not an int. We are sending a string as a endpoint. So a string endpoint. Great. And now we need to send the doc string. Sorry, this is wrong. Let me correct here, doc string. So we are going to do the doc string. So I'm going to paste the doc string back. And you're going to note that if I change here anything, this is not, IntelliJ is not recognizing because of this. This is an issue with IntelliJ, right? So if I comment this, you're going to see that IntelliJ already was able to understand this. I'm going to go back here. It, it was back. For some reason, it's not recognizing this syntax. But we, we don't need to worry about that. So this is the same uh, as this one. You're going to see that I'm changing a little bit. So let me put user 11. The user, James, everything else, it's, it's different except the 
password and phone and user and, and user status but the name and the way that we are going to be searching for this user is different so we're going to see that we are using the v3 slash user slash the user because this is the user that we are creating now so we also need to tell that we are going to send this right and this is doc string and this is a doc string type doc string cucumber doc string and i'm just going to call this doc string right i already have imported this but you need to make sure that you're going to import this so you have if i remove this you're going to have to import and this is going to be the doc string uh, from a uh, cucumber doc string awesome so now we have the endpoint and we have the doc string one thing that we need to do is we need to uh, implement the call the, the get call right so what we're going to do is it's very similar to this one right so we have a given we have a given uh, we are going to put the content type you're going to see that this is a duplication of uh, code duplication but we're going to address that in the next video and I'm going to use the body and I'm going to say that the body is doc string but not just doc string is doc string content get content right. I'm also going to put a when because we need to do the we need to do the the action which in this case is a post and this is going to be the same as this one and now the then which is also similar which we are checking the content type if it was return a json a content type json and if the status code is HTTP status, uh, okay. And the other one is exactly this one, right? right but let's put a breakpoint here for a second. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. And I'm going to execute this. So we're going to see that we receive this and we receive the doc string. Right, and why we are using getting content because you're going to see that the doc string here you have the content, you have the content type which is a JSON, and you have this converter. Right, what we are interested in is this content here, that's why we are using get content because I want the get content or I, I want the content, the body of the doc string, and that this is why. Right, so I'm just going to uh, resume the program, and we have a f we, this one passed, and it was okay the return, but this one failed, right? And this one failed. Uh, exactly why? Why? What happened here? Let, let's check a little. Uh, so we have here we are sending everything okay. We are it looks fine, but there is a catch here. Right. Remember one thing. Remember that when we did this, the, the this first step here, we are saving the expected user to use down here in another step, in another method. And in this case, we are not. We are not saving anything. So that's why it's new because we are not sending anything. When it's coming here, expected user dot get, it's new. So yeah. So what we need to do, we need to set this up, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it work, but this is not ideal. But since this is not a, uh, the final solution, uh, I'm okay with it. So what I'm going to do is, remember what we did uh, in, in the previous one. We have an expected user, right? We have a, a, a private map called expected user, and we are setting the table to this expected user. and this way we are sharing the information between methods. So I'm going to say expected user and I'm going to create the information of the user. The expected user is um, so the expected user is username, right? This is how it's mapping. 
right? So this is username, and the content is the user that we are creating here. The user, right? Great. So I'm going to rerun Control R to rerun, and now it passed because. We, we set here and now there is the username, the username and it's able to find. Why this is not the correct solution? Because we are hard coding in this. Ideally, we should be getting this information from the body itself the same way as we did here, right? But in this case, we would have to, this is a doc string and as I showed you, let me rerun the debug. It's, it's a JSON file. Uh, we would have to deal with this, we have to convert, we have to get uh, other things, we would have to do other things that we have to deal with. It. But since this is not the, the, the solution that I'm aiming for, I'm going to leave for this. I just wanted to show you how to handle doc string. But if you decide to go with this solution, you need to figure out a way to dynamically get this username. The same way as we did here, you need to get whatever doc string information here. You need to be, you need to find a way to use these in your den, right? Either get the username so you can you can check uh, the user or the whole body uh, doesn't really matter uh, uh, the way that you choose as long as you, uh, you you are able to share those, right? So this is basically what I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like it, give the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you can receive the notifications of my next videos. Thank you for watching.